Department of Homeland Security praises concerns over the growing crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border as they await supplemental funding from Congress. When America's Janesh Gagas has more on the department's warning. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan warns of dire consequences at the southern border if Congress does not approve additional funding. During an interview Monday evening, McAleenan says without that money, children will be, quote, backing up at the border. He says if the DHS does not receive enough funding, his agency may have no other choice but to release migrant adults from detention centers. Funds may also have to be transferred from other accounts, affecting other departments if Congress doesn't act fast. Those departments could include the TSA, CBP, and the Health and Human Services Department, which is responsible for sheltering children. This comes after the Trump administration requested an additional $4.5 billion to address border issues. If we don't get the supplemental funding, you're going to see children backing up at the border in CBP facilities in conditions that no American would be comfortable with mm -hmm. in terms of how we care for children. Uh, Congress has to act on that funding. McAleenan says as an alternative, unaccompanied children could be held in detention centers at several points along the border. Meanwhile, during that same interview, the DHS chief also pointed to the high number of false parental claims made by migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border. In the first few days, the DHS began testing migrants' DNA. McAleenan claims they identified 24 cases of fraudulent claims made by parents who attempted to cross the border with a child who was not related to them. The issue is, under the current law, asylum seekers traveling with children can only be detained for a short period of time. This leads to more migrants taking advantage of the law by bringing a child to guarantee release, which is why his agency has deployed more agents to counter false asylum claims. I had a gentleman in Guatemala last week tell me that everybody knows that bringing a child is a passport for migration right now. Uh, and, and so we have to take additional measures at the border, and we've done that. We have HSI teams now, about 500 uh, special agents working this issue nationally, 140 on the border. McAleenan went on to voice his concern for the welfare of children after a number of reports claim the children are being physically and sexually abused. His remarks comes amid a surge in illegal crossings, with Border Patrol agents apprehending over 100,000 migrants in the month of April alone. While McAleenan has yet disclosed the official estimate for apprehensions in the month of May, he claims it will exceed April's record. Janessa Gagas, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.